Hey everyone, welcome into the studio. I'm Andy. Today we're talking about this Kiesel Osiris. It's a phenomenal guitar. It's new to me last week. It's just come in and I've had a couple of days to play with it. And uh, dude, let me tell you, it's so good. <laughs> It sounds phenomenal, it plays phenomenal, um, everything about it is stupid ridiculous. So I will t we'll spec it out, I'll tell you how I spec'd it, um, <clears throat> and I'll give you some samples, you know, let you hear what, each, what these pickups sound like. These are the Holdsworth pickups, so we'll run through those real quick. Let you hear some clean, some, some dirty, and some high gain sounds through those, and, uh, and then, you know, we'll wrap it if I don't space off too much. Because, you know, I'm still me. So this thing is awesome. Let me, um, let me say this first. I'm an idiot, like I said, and, and say often. The humidity in my control room for the past two years has been uh, low, really low, like in the 20, low 20s percent. Uh, I th the other day it was like 23 percent when I checked, and... Uh, that's not good. It's not good for anything in the room. Not the walls, not the stuff in the room, nothing. Your humidity should be much closer to 50%, like between 40 and 50%. Um, and that will affect the tuning of your guitars, right? So my guitars always kind of go a little sharp. When I come back in, I got to tune them up and stuff, and I guess I just got used to that. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Um, they don't do that now. I've got a little humidity a humidifier for thirty dollars at Lowe's, and um, now you know the humidity is where it should be. Uh, it's forty, it stays between like forty forty five, and all my guitars are now staying in tune. So if you introduce a guitar with a very particular um, or sensitive would be a better word <clears throat> bridge, this is the. Uh, hip shot Kiesel tremolo system, which is very sensitive. It's a, it's it's great. It's an awesome trem system, um, and it is sensitive, very sensitive. If you introduce that into a situation like this, you know you're gonna you're gonna notice. So I've since fixed it up. Boomer's outside barking, so you know things are heating up. So let's get into it, right? I like. Uh, and I, I like having, you know, tuners down here again. These tuners are great. Like, you know, I could just pretty much tweak that E string. So I do that all the time. I just get sidetracked and off my fingers go because it's that fun to play. But uh, yeah, before we get into the sounds, let's spec it out. Um, what we have, what did I pay for like extra? So the body is uh, Swamp Ash. And uh, that was extra. In addition, it was one piece swamp ash. I wanted just one piece of wood. I like that idea, you know. I don't like when they glue pieces together. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just, you know, I like the. It just seemed like a good idea for an instrument. It's based on resonance, etc. And this one, whoo! I put it in my lap. I feel that down through my leg every string when I pluck it like the resonance from this thing is like no other guitar that I've felt before in all my years many years I'm so old lots of guitars lots of years of playing this it's ridiculous it really it, it just it's alive like it blew me away it's alive so you got that uh, the antique ash treatment uh, I think up to get one piece body was like 250 extra antique ash another hundred um, but it gives you this beautiful patina. Like, this is a very unique looking guitar body. They do such a good job at Kiesel of selecting and putting, like, the, the layout of the guitar on the grain or vice versa, however it's done. And, you know, like, th th this is <laughs> so awesome. It's always like a crapshoot, kind of, you know, more like a raffle. You don't know what you're going to get when you order your Kiesel um, until they make it. And, you know, they made this one, and here it comes, and it's like, dude. That is so cool. It's got like this stripe down the middle. <laughs> like, bad. I was just stunned when I when I opened it. It's just like, oh my god, look how awesome this is. So that's the body. Neck is one piece maple with bird's eye maple fretboard. Uh, I, I didn't want to get, I wanted something different than just like plain maple on the fretboard, uh, but I didn't want to get like too crazy. So the bird's eye seemed like a good choice. And wow, is it. Look at the bird's eye maple 
and what, how well it complements, you know, the finish over here on the body. It's just like whew, stunning. So no fancy like seven piece neck with blood stripes of things on the back. I'm, I'm not that into the back of my guitar, I guess. So didn't do all that. We got the, the hip shot trim, like I said, and Holdsworth pickups. And they're phenomenal, as you're about to hear. I was I just put Fluence Abbasis in this Ibanez over here, and I was for sure after I put them in, I was like, oh, yeah, when the Kiesel comes in, it's getting Fluences. I should have ordered with Fluences. Um, but you couldn't order with Abbasis. You had to send them, and it was like, yeah, we do all that. These are so good. I'm not changing them, you know? So we're, we're in a clean tone right now. That's all the specs, really, all this thinner neck profile, too. I got that. Um, black inlays instead of white, that was extra. Black poles instead of silver, that was a little extra. Other than that, it's pretty much standard stuff. So it plays better. It Really, it's so phenomenal. Uh, better than anything I've ever played. Um, I let go, and look at it sitting in my lap. It just sits there. It's perfectly balanced. I can move all around. Um, look at that. I just instinctively grab the neck or, you know, put my hand there. I didn't need to because it's not going anywhere. Um, even as it sits, I want to position it better, of course, because I've shifted all around. But once it's there, look, you know, we're not going anywhere. I can hit all my foot pedals. I can do some stuff up here, do some typing, 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 which is great for me. I stream a lot on Twitch, so, you know, I, I, I often don't want to take the guitar out, you know, and put it over here. Like, I'm just doing a thing real quick. I mean, look at this. It's just, it's going nowhere. It's awesome. It won't bang into the buttons on the push and trigger unwanted scenes and sounds. That's phenomenal. Uh, you know, so let's go through the sounds, shall we? We've got a blues, a Fender Blues DeVille model, which is, uh, or rig capture for our, our tone. That, my friends, is the bridge pickup. Give me a break. What? Turn the Valhalla off. I would never. I mean, guitarist. How many? How many? How often do you use the clean, totally clean sound with the bridge pickup? Not that often. So let's go up to number two slot. We'll do one to five because I don't know what I should be. I'm just a guy. Uh, two is a coil split on this rear pickup, so I think it's the rear coil. <laughs> got that little bit of glass just came into it, you know? You roll off the top a little bit, make it a little shiny. I love this position on this guitar, um, which I don't usually love that position. Now, number three in the middle is our outside coils. glass you start picking up that roundiness from up in the neck side now let's add the glass back in position four and just go to the single What you'd expect like totally you know what i mean so let's change up our amp uh let's go and let's bring in some mid mid game grit a little bit we'll stay up well let's go back to one with the bridge <laughs> This is an MP1, an ADA MP1 rig capture with its T100 uh, power amp, which is an EL34, which is, this is a great capture of that EL34 jangly sound. As you'll see when we get to the single coil. So that's our bridge. Your 
weight gain, right? That full on. So let's back it off a little bit. It's two. Here's one. Two. So you pick up a little bit of glass in there. If you back off with your pick a little bit, you start to hear a little dynamics. And that'll be even more in slot four, you'll see. But here's three, your outside coils. Lovely, lovely. It's a little bit bassy, a little bit treble. Number four. go through and they, it's just what you think right so let's get uh, let's get heavy <laughs> That's the bridge pickup. You can go back. Now, honestly, high gain world, I'm not using much of the other sounds. I'm using one and five. Two, three, four, not using. That's usable. Like if you wanted to sit back in the mix a little more, especially if you're playing live, I'd go right there first. that tone in tap world maybe a little noisy position four and really that's like that's what the single coily jangly sound ends up sounding noisy to me like in high gain land that's just me that uh, number five position definitely for like tappy land it's definitely you know these are hot pickups man kind of noisy <laughs> they're not kind of noisy but it's all gated anyway so it's hard to tell but so like that's kind of the tones that are coming out of this rig right here um it's just awesome this guitar is just awesome if you're thinking about Getting a Kiesel, think no more, man. Just get it. Pull the trigger. Make it happen. I'm so glad I did. Because um, this little masterpiece, and I mean, it is little. Um, I can compare it to a Strat. Look how much smaller. Dude, I picked up the Strat after playing this one for one day. One day I was like, eh, let me grab that strat and see what it's even still now. It just seems like a like it's like a yacht. This thing is so big. Like, oh my god. I can't even see the push or anything down there. The I have this Ableton push. Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Out to the side, I have that push thing, you know, and you can't even see it. Uh this is totally in a way, but a good illustration of, you know, the size difference. This thing is threatening to, to beat up my push. And what happens is it triggers off things that it shouldn't when I jump around, because I jump around a lot in my seat. As opposed to this Kiesel Osiris, like, hey, look where that's coming in. That is not going to be a problem at all. 
But so, back to the point, and yeah, this thing, the Strat is a normal size guitar. It feels like a boat. Let's see if we can see the size difference in these guitars. Get the tremolos out of the way. If I can hold them up in a fashion that will let you see. So, I guess if we get the pickups up in about the same spot like that, yeah. You can kind of see how much smaller the bodies are. There's so much more below the bridge on the, uh, this is, you know, it's not two humbuckers. And it's, and it's 22 frets and not 24. So maybe let's do that with the Schecter. Another 24 fret guitar with, guitar with two humbuckers. And so you can see, I'll pull the Osiris up, balance out to like there. And so look at all the extra guitar. This is, this, this, uh, is a normal size guitar, Strat style guitar for sure. You know, it's not like small or big or it's just average. And then when you look at the whole thing, it's like, there's all that headstock up there. What is all that about? So, uh, yeah, this guitar, it's, if, if that is interesting to you or appealing, you know, that it's just ergonomically perfect, you can drop it in your lap and sit there and at worst, look, it might do that. It's still not going anywhere. The strat would have fallen off by now. Get back there, buddy. But so um, that's our look at the Kiesel Osiris six string. This uh, will not be the last Kiesel that shows up in this studio in my lifetime. I don't believe. So, cheers. I'm out.